Hey guys, welcome back to Ontario Gardening. Today I thought we would head inside since it's so snowy and cold here in Southern Ontario and just quickly chat about a Christmas gift that I got this year. So this is the Click and Grow system. It's very similar to the Arrow Garden system, which is very popular. Um, but my spouse actually chose to get me this one for a couple of reasons. There's uh, so many videos that go through the comparables of the Arrow Garden and the Click and Grow and reviews. I'm just not going to do that, but I will tell you a couple of reasons why um, I got this one instead of the Arrow Garden. Firstly, I spend so much time in the spring and summer outside gardening that this is just meant for winter for me really and maybe to do some herbs in the spring. So it was something that needed to be quick, easy and hassle free for me, which this is. This system couldn't get any easier. You literally just fill the pod, throw it inside of the machine, fill it with water and plug it in. It is that easy. Um, the Aero Garden has nutrients that you have to add every couple weeks. This one already has the nutrients in each pod, so I don't have to worry about adding anything. It literally just grows on its own and I pick the fruit once it's once it's done. The other nice thing for me about this one is the spacing of the pods is much more um, wider, I guess, than the Aero Garden, so things aren't so crowded. And if I did want to prune or do some staking or even um, pinch off some of the plants, I could do that. It's not so crowded together. The last reason this one was chosen was just because it's overall less expensive. Um, there's no water pump that runs through it, so there's less electricity that would be used. I don't have to buy the nutrients, like I said, and this system is actually overall less expensive for the initial cost than the Aero Garden is. With that being said, I will just quickly show you how this works and how you would install a pod into the system and to get it going. This is the second round of stuff. I've already had, as you can see, I've had tomatoes grow. Now I'm growing some sweet peppers in here. I've got some basil going, some lettuce. So I've got strawberries over here. So the, yeah, this is the second time that I've ran this through. Um, I've ran all the other stuff from December until April, and now I'm gonna run this stuff probably April into the end of summer while I work on my outside stuff. So just to run real quick, these come with nine reusable pods with their greenhouse lids. And then the initial kit that I got actually came with three different um, pods. I've replaced some since then. I got some peas. So once you have your system set up, you're going to grab your seed packets. Obviously open it up and inside you find the pods and the seeds are actually inside here. You put it inside the reusable cup snap that lid on there. Greenhouse lid goes on and you are ready to put it inside. The water is going to come up through here and germinate your seeds. So the little lid on the top here acts as a mini micro greenhouse obviously to keep that condensation in and germinate your seeds. At that point, you now pop it into your click and grow system. This lever here is going to tell you about the water. So if the lever's all the way down, it needs water, you would fill it up. I can show you here. And then once it floats to the top, your water is all full and it's going to start collecting in here. Now you can also, if you wanted to at this point, take a dry erase marker and label it. Just so you know what's in there. And that is literally it that you plug it in and then you can go and as long as the water is filled up you'll have to check it every few days make sure it's still good then you're done you can walk away and let it grow the one thing i should mention when you do plug it in it becomes this is your light system up here all of your lights come on 
and it is 16 hours on, eight hours off. So that's the growing system error. And even during a power outage, it, outage, it will reset itself. So if you look on the package here, it tells you how long it takes to sprout, how long it's going to be before it's full size, and how long you can enjoy it in your click and grow for. So when you do go on their website, they do give a bunch of other information about each plant. For example, when we did the tomatoes, because we don't have bugs and insects inside to pollinate the tomatoes, we needed to self-pollinate them with a little paintbrush. Not a big deal, but you know, if you want the extra fruit, you don't have to, but to get better fruit and better harvest, you just take a little paintbrush and go flower to flower and kind of self-pollinate them. So just little tips and tricks that will help you with your click and grow can be found on that website. But any other information that you need really can just be found on the front of these pods. So I'm going to link the Click and Grow website down below in case you're interested in looking at some of their products or purchasing one for yourself. The one thing I do want to note though about purchasing it online is that the Click and Grow is going to take a few weeks to get to you, but if you buy it actually on Amazon, you can have it primed here in a couple days and it's actually like $20 cheaper on Amazon. That could have changed since, since the last time I've been on. But I personally, when I'm replacing my pods and all that kind of stuff, I do typically go to Amazon just because I can get it primed here. I mean, that's just, that's just the world we live in. <laughs> I want it here now. Um, but you can get more of a variety on the Click and Grow site. So it depends what you're looking for and when you want it here. Thank you so much for joining us. Coming up soon in some of our videos, we are going to be talking about feeding Ontario birds, splitting hostas, what we can plant outside in April right now here in Ontario. So stay tuned for more. Bye.